Welcome to the Luxley Show. Not too good with me English history, but I'm pretty sure Edward then died and then left us with Edward VIII. Now this is the weird thing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, mate. Uh, I'm here at Postfest. You can see some of these beautiful post boxes over here from literally way back when. This one here is a very interesting one. Uh, I'll talk about that in a bit. But this is post fest. It's very chilled out at the moment, very relaxed. And a few people have turned up because it's quite early in comparison. It's my mate security, it's funny. And uh, some beautiful folky stuff going on here. Now I've just demonstrated this absolutely perfectly, but I probably won't be able to do it again. You've got to try and pop a bubble in a bubble. So what you've got to do, it's going too high, it's going too high. You've got to wait for a big one. And then go like that. Oh sorry babe, let me go. Ready? Oh I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, look, look! Bubble in a bubble, bubble in a bubble. That's how good I am. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming for a big one, ready? It's coming in, coming in, coming in. Oh, it's coming at me. Oh, oh, I tripped the kid up. No, no, no! Have you got it? Oh that was there's a little bubble! You did it! Oh, you're too much. Ready? Like, yeah, oh, that was so close. So close. Bubble fun. Yeah, post fest. Unfortunately, I didn't have my camera the last couple of days and it has been really sunny and really beautiful and actually it was overcast this morning but now, bar that big cloud over there, we're pretty good for the weather, it's all sunny again. And uh, I had a couple of fantastic performances, Hong Kong Express, watched my little Chinese man 
slash Vietnamese man make my dinner the other night and uh, it was pretty awesome to watch an actual Chinese meal being created from start to finish. Uh, and I've got a lot of techniques, I'm going to be taking them back to our kitchen and trying that out at Luxley Flowers at some point. And um, today we're doing a talent competition and a drawing competition and we're also doing a uh, show for the third day at Postfest and uh, I'll show you some of the post boxes in a bit. So this is the post office museum and uh, the guy Arthur who runs it, he's a lovely bloke and uh, he originally started off with um, uh, what did he originally start off with? With a letter, uh, with phone boxes and then changed it on up and he now goes for the post boxes and there's apparently a wooden one which is a George VIII which is that one there that's a metal one, that's not a wooden one there's lots of little wooden ones here and little decoration ones, these are gorgeous, look at these oh here we go, here we go a wooden one possibly that one but one of these in here is a George VIII now I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a little bit look at these massive ones sponsored by Heinz, look at that big post boxes, little boxes post and pats two pewter brass all kinds of post boxes you having fun? he's not a post box? No. <laughs> yeah, but if we boshed a hat on him, though, look, he wouldn't look half like hat, look. look. He would laugh look like Pat. <laughs> you need a little red bag and a hat, you'd be fine. Yeah, I reckon it'd be good. Look at that. You need, yeah, you need a cat. You do need a cat. There's a fag bin there, look at that. They're not octagonal, apparently, says Joe. I Gentlemen, running, right she got the merch. We have for you the legendary, the Owens. Make some noise. what we call in the industry a music demonstrator. <laughs> And the red, red eyes, golden sunshine, it makes me high.
Team. Post boxes. What's the deal? Okay, so this one here is a hexagonal, apparently, not octagonal. Um, Victoria one. You can see it's Victoria because it says VR, Victoria Regina. So we're looking approximately between 1840, which is when the first penny black was uh, sent and used, um, and between uh, 1900 and 1901. And then it goes on to, oh, there's an Irish one there, it's a green one. There goes another Victoria Regina, there we go. And then going along the line, Edward the Seventh. Now Edward the Seventh, he took over from uh, Victoria. He started making post boxes, looked like him. Edward the Seventh, Edward the Seventh. Not too good with me English history, but I'm pretty sure Edward then died, and then left us with Edward the Eighth. Now this is the weird thing. Edward the Eighth, he gets crowned. He's apparently king. He didn't expect to be king because his brother died. Or along those lines, I need to go and look this up. And. Um, uh, he like, fancied this woman called Mrs. Simpson. We'll call her Marge for this particular documentary. So, um, yeah, Marge and uh, Edward VIII, uh, basically, they were told uh, he absconded or he decided not to become king anymore after a year. Um, so, and uh, just someone I was talking about yesterday reckoned it was something to do with the Queen's mother. The Queen, who we currently have now, um, she kicked him out um, so that George V could then jump on the bandwagon. He was a dude from the King's Speech who had a weird stutter. So they didn't expect him to be the king, but he, uh, yeah, eventually because he absconded, he ended up being the king, so he went on to George V. And then later on down the line, he ends up passing away, and Elizabeth Regina, that's our current post boxy standard. So obviously that's a little bit of a history lesson. So the green ones are Irish, uh, we believe to be Irish. Um, there's a black and white stripy one down there. Not too sure what that is, I will find out. Um, this one's a bit chunkier, Royal Mail. There is also a blue one. A blue one's apparently airmail. And there is a Hong Kong one over there. It's got a bit of Chinese writing on it. And there is a... It's coming. A black one here, a big black one here, and I'm going to say LNER and LMS. I reckon it's naval. Okay, we'll find out from after. We'll find out. There you go, airmail, airmail blue one. 
blue one. Green one here, not too sure, sure what that one is. We'll find out about that, could be an Irish one. Dudley, 1861, check that out. That's a beast that is. And then over here is a white one. What does that mean? DHL, Monday to Friday, only if they're in enough mail for the operative to collect. Oh, don't know what that means. We're going to find out from Arthur what those mean. Poppins. I did not know. That Mary Poppins has a whole roulette wheel in the back of her. Hey! Fixer upper. Sorry? It's a fixer upper. <laughs> oh no, I've never seen it. Looks like wings. You got wings? <gasps> Does it got a hovercraft? <laughs> oh, Gina's looking in. Gina's had a shave. She was wearing a moustache earlier. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up, mate. Oh yeah, oh, yeah mate. Oh, didn't, oh, he's, got he's got wings. Mate, it's like a panty liner. Oh, God. I love you, Chitty. Look at this. Hey! Oh, Chitty Poom, pretty, 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 bung, bung, Chitty, pretty, bung, bung, you love you. It's got wings. He's having a little go, young gambler, having a little go at roulette. Too late, really, right? Oh, oh, oh! Rocket supercar boat. This is a fight, this is a post vest bonnet fight. Well, I don't know, I'm not totally sure yet. I'm it's on, sure. it is on. I haven't got a teddy bear on my nose. Ah, uh, look at that. Now I'm in trouble. <laughs> right, I got a question, quick fire question rounds. Are you ready? You ready? Yeah. Okay. What's a red post box? Something you post letters in. Okay, what's a green one? Something you post letters in in Ireland. What's a white one? A white one could be the one that's in my garden. That's it. Being silly. Is there just a white one? There's no, there up. isn't a white one. I painted it white because it's what I thought might happen to Royal Mail if it's privatised. Oh. If you look at the plate, the it, DHL says, and then the... it says collections when we feel like. <laughs> what about um, a black one? The black one down there is from a railway. A rail? Oh, I've said uh, navy. It's a railway oh, post box, you see. Um, uh, it's hideously rare because only one I've ever made and it survived two world wars, that is. No way. Uh, that's, why it's that's why it's got a lot of damage on it. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. the LNR and the... London North Eastern Railway, London Midland and Scottish Railway. Look at that. He knows his stuff And the this CLC way. at the top stands for Cheshire Lions Committee, which were a company, one of these odd ones in the late 18th century, that owned lots of infrastructure 
but no engines and carriages. <laughs> so you lots of said so they that... hired the carriages and railway and engines in from the other companies. Wow. Yeah. They own things around Liverpool, Manchester, Sheffield. Right, but did they did they yeah, make much money or did they yeah. go under? That went under. Like most of the early yeah, railway companies. Have the did. Engine and they won't go well that's all right, you know, it's like everything. Like us, isn't it? Eh? We have to hire. We have to hire in comedians. And yeah, when, it's when true. We've got a few on site already. It's true. It's true. There are some funny people here. I'm not kidding. <laughs> um, what's your favourite one? My favourite post box. Yeah. My favourite one is the one that I'm probably looking at at the time. But I like my hexagonal one by the back door there. So, and then that's going to be between 1840 and 1899. No, no, it'll be that one's 1876. But we didn't have any post boxes, roadside post boxes, until 1852. That's the first, that's the first sort of one. one. So the oldest one I've got. It's 1857. Which one is that? It's a square one that's in the museum. Yeah. It's identical to the one that's on the mall in Newport and carries with Road. And that's that's the, one of the old new ones. That's 1857 as well. And that's the oldest one on the island. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, you've got it here first. Give him a big round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> Huzzah! 2014, do you want your final act? Yeah! Yeah, of course you do. back. Yeah, make some noise for Big Top. <laughs>
reminds me of the black lumberjack. No, you don't have to do it. Hey! Yeah, it's the smile, isn't it? Pretty sure there's a diamond missing from the one on the left. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect guide to what carnies do to stop you from winning any money. Oh, he's still got it, look at that. <laughs> This is the, the Carnage version. This is where they show you how to do it. Get a special technique. <laughs> that was so close. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Thor! <laughs> 50, halfway there, it's alright, it's alright. That's it. That's it. Remember, you got the short pole in there, you know, the cheeky pole. <laughs> it's 40, it's gone down. They're trying to get uh, competitions on. Here we go, here we go. I'm gonna do it with my teeth now. <laughs> it's good, it's good. Once you go back, that's terrible. One and done. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most incredible men I've ever met. met. He's got a fantastic story for everything. I believe uh, he wants a word. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Arthur Reader. Well, mate, uh, can I just say 100% thanks to everybody that's come here and the people who've worked away tirelessly to come and join me in this garden. I think I can safely say that this is probably a record because I don't suppose in history so many people have ever stood on this piece of ground together the one time as there are today. How about that? It's a historical event. Serious. And can I, can I also just say, not only is this guy there going to pick my pocket yet again and take another <laughs> watch, but we may have disagreements, me and this lad next to me, but if I wanted a son to choose, apart from my own one, I'll pick this guy here. <laughs> Sometimes, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> There's Arthur, he's a star. I'm sorry Arthur, but we couldn't leave you just like that. <laughs> we've all been pitching and we've all got a couple of things to, to say and, and to give you. Um, we bought this... Oh. <laughs> it's upside down, hold on. Because <laughs> we bought it for you. <laughs> this is for Arthur. We've also got one more uh, present for you. If you could bear with me one second. Now, I found this at an antique store. And uh, I'd like you to present this to you. If you can hold this for a second here. Yeah. As you know, Arthur likes post boxes. I don't have a bloody clue why, but he does. 
And, um, but credit to him, I did ask him once, I said, can I have a go-kart track? He told me to beep off. <laughs> so, so um, but I then, I, I come up with a second idea, and my second idea was the festival. And thanks to all my friends and the scores and all my bands and, and all these bands that have always uh, supported my ideas. Um, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to do all this. So big thank you and uh, hope you like your new addition to your family of postal history. A big, big round of applause because I couldn't do it without this man. Arthur Rita! It's a lovely moment, don't you think? A lovely, lovely moment. Thank you. Hang on a minute. Now, you may not be worrying to watch all weekend, mate. I know, because if I put it on, you'll be nicking it. Thank you for having us, I really appreciate that. You've got to blow a bubble in it, see if you can blow a bubble in it. Look, yeah, I'll show you, ready? Oh, we've blown it out, not like that, it's rubbish. <laughs> Can any of you lot count? I'm just curious, I'm just curious. Any more? Thank you. What did you say, Obi? Did you say, do you know where my dad is? What did you say? So, what did uh, you the say? It's been quite nice, hasn't it? Come yeah, 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 it's been alright. Nothing. So we're gonna play I said, oi man, give me one of them.